Hello, hello, YouTube people. Today, I'm joining you in my micro house. The hottest trend of Minecraft 1.13.1. There you go. This is the smallest house I think can possibly exist. Let's give you the grand tour. We got our storage space, our storage space, our storage space, and finally our storage space. That's a total of one, two, three, four chests, one of them being a single chest. We got two working doors. We got a enchanting table, a bookshelf to feed the enchanting table, crafting bench, furnace, and if it's dark outside and you don't feel safe going out, there's even a bed. Now from the outside, you can see this tiny little house. It doesn't look like a house really, it looks like an inside out house, like you would build around this to make this your centerpiece of the house. Out of here we got our boy Flyboy and Bubbles, along with our sugarcane farm our wheat farm and our tree farm yeah this part of the house is unnecessary but it's very nice to have uh, there without this part you couldn't really get in very easily because this would be the house and eventually we'll get inside but yeah, it's not necessary. I will include it just for convenience sake. All right, time to show you how to build this micro house. First off, we're gonna start with our back. You can use any block for this part. Just need a little hidey hole, too high. Then we're gonna use our enchanting table and then our crafting table, our furnace and our no, no 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 start that over we're gonna use a bookshelf then we're gonna use a crafting table a furnace gonna have a little door gonna have our chest and finally the part that I forgot a little ladder there a transparent block this can be any transparent block however Good luck fitting a torch in here if you're not using glowstone. One more part in here that I gotta grab. Not the chest. There we go. Sorry about that. Put that right there. And that's our second working door. This is our first. That's all you really need. And I put this in the wrong place. That's alright. Mistakes are made always. I'll go ahead and put some more bookshelves here. You can do what I did and deck the place out with chests, or you can go ahead and put bookshelves here. Depends on if you need more storage space or if you need more power. I'm gonna go with more power on this one. After all, it can't hurt to have a little bit of variety in your houses. Final part, the roof slash bed. And that's it. That's all you have to your little micro house. Afterwards, you can use uh, you can use your farm, make a farm here, make a little sugarcane farm, a little tree farm, even have a nice little pet, little guard dog right there. Ruff ruff. All right, give you a grand tour again. You have two working doors, a floor, and a roof, along with everything you need to go through a full playthrough as a hobbit. I thank you for joining me. You can see my, my head sticking through my bed. The third third person models don't work very well with this, since I am using a glitch to get in here. But it's perfectly cozy, as you'll find out if you ever make this house in your own playthrough. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys later.